Yep, I said it. I said it, all right. You got to drop the captain. Looking ahead to that massive game tomorrow night at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea, the only way that Ten Hag can really make a statement and change things up and save his job at this football club is by making big, big changes to the starting lineup. That's my opinion. I'm Adam. This is Forever United TV. Welcome along to the video, everybody. Something a little bit different today as I'm out and about filming, ready for the FA Cup final. <laughs> How are we sort of getting ahead of ourselves on that one? Well, more on that anyway. I'll fill you all in on that later on and what's gone on. But yeah, looking ahead to what's really important right now, and that is what Tenai can do with what he's got at his disposal. Now, there are changes that he can make all over the pitch. And this is my look ahead to the Chelsea game. Now, I would completely mix everything up for Eric Ten Hag just to see if he has got the capabilities of making something else out of this squad. I want to see him try it at least. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But let's be honest, it's bleeding broke and he needs to fix something or change something to make it different for United. Now, starting at the back, I'm making big calls here because... Well, actually, no, it's not really a big call. I'm hoping that Martinez is a lot fitter and he comes... Whoa, 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 hold the team sheet, hold the back pages, breaking news. We have been interrupted in this broadcast by breaking news coming from Manchester United. And yet again at Carrington, we have overworked the players and Lissandro Martinez and Lindelof have both got muscle strains and will be missing for the next month. Scrap the defence. It's going to be wan Dalo, Dallow, Maguire and Varane. It changes, though, when we get into midfield. I am mixing it completely up. Two players come out of that midfield for me from that Brentford game just because of poor performances. Now, if you're playing for Manchester United, you do not perform well. We get battered by a team five points from the relegation zone, completely battered and overrun in that midfield. Having had a decent international break and a rest as well, then you deserve to be dropped. This is Man United. These are the standards that need to be kept. Out goes Bruno Fernandes. Out goes Scott McTominay. McTominay, people would say, yeah, that's an easy one. See you later. But Bruno, the captain, is there a bigger statement to make? Well, there is. I'll get onto that in a minute. For a Ten Hag then to drop their captain. Drop Bruno Fernandes from the team. And I'm not saying that Bruno isn't good enough. I'm not saying that he is the worst player that we've got right now. I'm just saying, look, he looks like he's lost something. He looks like he's lost his mojo. He isn't the same Bruno that we knew from two or three years ago. He's slowly decayed. Maybe as time, our spell out of the team, maybe rest him for that game for leading Liverpool because we cannot afford to get humbled by them at Old Trafford. Like, they are coming for revenge. So, if there's a game to rest him, maybe now's the chance. And Mason Mount coming in for him against his old club, having scored a goal, back in contention... A Ten Hag signing, Ten Hag signing, and all the deal that was made out of this. Here is your opportunity. The chips are down, Eric. You need to make massive, massive changes right now. You need to shake it up. You need to prove that the players that you brought in to make this season better can actually do a job for you. What chance, what bigger chance is there than this right now? Chelsea need to win game. Mason Mount going back to his old club. Putting him in ahead of Bruno, our captain, would be a massive confidence booster to Mason Mount. And do you know what he'll do to Bruno? He's not going to spit his dummy out. That's not his character. He's the captain of this football club. He will look at that and go, I've been dropped because I'm not performing. I need to get back in this team and I need to start playing well again. If players come in every single week and just walk into that team for performing po poorly and being rewarded for mediocrity, the standards are going to stay there. And they're going to look at it and never want to go past that again. I'll never not, never want to because they don't need to, more importantly. So Bruno will take that in. I think that's a smart move right now. He looks knackered anyway. Give him that break and say, look, it's the first time that you've really dropped off. You're at a massive football club here. This isn't acceptable. There's another player here that's raring to go, that's fresher, and has got a point to prove. And he's going to get the opportunity tonight. Casemiro is the easy option that comes in for McTominay. I would play Casemiro a little bit further forward and I'd drop uh, Kobe Mainu behind him. I'd let him drop in then Casemiro and help out when needed in defensive. But I think Casemiro arriving late to the box is just as good as Scott McTominay. I think he gets in the air. He's good in the air. He can come in late for crosses and I think he's effective. As proven against Chelsea last season at Stamford Bridge with the injury time equalising header. So, yeah, that's my change up in midfield. We move into the forward line. 
And again, as said, was there a bigger move that Tenar could make than dropping the captain of Manchester United, Bruno? Well, there is. And that's in taking the Belfast Bebe out of this team and putting him back on the bench where he belongs. Marcus Rashford out of Manchester United starting lineup. Statement made. Out you go. We're not going to be any worse with someone else in that team in, uh, in place of Marcus Rashford. Whether it be Ahmad just coming back after suspension, chomping at the bit after his cameo against Liverpool. Whether it be Antony, who is going to work 20 times harder than what Marcus Rashford is. And do you know what? We're going to need to graft again against Chelsea. It may not be pretty. We're not hoping that there's going to be a style of play all of a sudden appear from nowhere. We just know what we have to do. We need to just get down and get dirty and grind out results right now. We're not going to grind out results with Marcus Rashford. If you want to leave Rashford on the pitch, fair enough. Maybe he could have that wildy moment like he's had in a few games this season so far since that incident in Belfast. I think he scored four goals since then. But in terms of contribution on the pitch, it's very minimal. And he is severely lacking any confidence or willing or sheer desire to play for this football team right now. Put players in that are ready to go. Put players in that want to be in that shirt. If I'm going to be honest, I think Anthony probably just pips Ahmad. And that's going to sound crazy to a lot of people. I know I want him working. Like Anthony on the right-hand side. I'd love him on the left to actually play on his natural foot, but he's, Ten Hag's not going to do it. I, I can't ask for bleeding miracles. It's hard enough asking for Ten Hag to drop these players that I'm asking him to now, but... I mean, to play Anthony on the left-hand side, oh, God, that would be asking for something, and that would change a lot. Like It really would. I think it would work great, but we're never going to see it. So, yeah, Anthony in on the right, but Garnacho on the left. You've got three players there in Hoyland, Garnacho and Anthony who are going to work their socks off. You've got Casemiro, who never lets you down in terms of professionalism and work rate. Well, some of his performances have been a bit shaky, but still, you know, in the big games, he comes to the fore. Maynou, Ronald Dafia, and obviously Mason Mount with a point to prove and an engine ready to go. There is your energy. There is your commitment. There is your battle-hardened side to try, and take, to try and take something from Stamford Bridge because the season is pretty much over in the league. We're not going to get Champions League. We are fighting, in case it all, go, all goes wrong in the FA Cup, we are fighting for our Europa League place in that league right now just to be in Europe. We cannot afford to lose games. Like People are looking ahead and going, we need to catch Villa and we need to catch Spurs. No, we need to stay ahead of Newcastle, Brighton and West Ham. That's United's job now this season. We need to fight for the Europa League. As sad as it is, that is what our level is. And that's what we have to accept. We had the chance. It was there on a plate. Go make a statement against a team fighting relegation and you completely threw in the towel. So you've shown your colours. Now play to your standard at least and battle out a sixth place finish in this table this season. That's what we're fighting for. We are the best of the rest outside of the top six. That's the ceiling for this team. The overachievement from last season uh, is all too clear and present right now. Manchester United just need to be in Europe next season. We cannot be out of it. So that's what we're fighting for. That's what I would do to try and get a result against Chelsea. I'll be back later on tonight, guys. Uh, like I said, just out and about today doing some other filming uh, in preparation for the FA Cup finals for the Emirates. So, yep, a little bit different. But let me know what your thoughts are. I'm looking at making big, big changes. We'll talk about this more later on in the evening show. But from this, I want your comments below because I'm going to bring your comments into the evening show uh, and get your opinions on where big changes are needed ahead of this game at Stamford Bridge. But, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give the video a like and hit that subscribe button if you are tuning in for the first time. And more importantly, like I said, get your comments in below, everyone. We're going to need them. We're going to need all your input on this one. It's going to be a tough night, isn't it? But hey, I still think we can do it.